Como decimos en Cuba, a ver, en Cuba cuando queremos ofender a alguien, por ejemplo, decimos, no como el pulca que es un coño de su madre. Coño de su madre. Un hijo de la gran puta, un porque se utilizó y se aprovechó. Esas chicas que se prostituían, se prostituían, que él dijo, pero bueno, ¿para qué se les ofreció? Que vieron interesados. Claro. Hay quienes por dinero matan, no van a tener el censo por dinero, porque tienen necesidad, son madres de familia. Por eso lo tienen hacen. Hijos, por eso es que lo hacen. Y miren acá el chico, lo conozco hace 7, 8 días, más preocupado, siempre por los cubanos, muy respetuoso. Puedo mostrar el video, puedo enseñarlo, puedo hablarlo. Entonces vino un pulcán, pero no tiene, ¿saben qué este es? Pasó trabajo de la renta, lo echaron de la renta, estuvo acá en la casa cuando no tenía forma de sacar dinero. Y acá estuvo entre nosotros. Entonces Pulcá gastaba mil, dos mil, tres mil dólares, cuatro mil dólares en restaurante, ofendiendo, tratando mal a camarero, asistente, para entonces venir a ver la vida. Pulcá, ¿cómo se llama? Kurt Kass. Kurt Kass. Kurt Kass. Chingue tu madre, cabrón. Guys, I told el you about YouTube. this, I told you about this. ¿Cómo se dice? Díselo, díselo. No, I used to know the guy, but now I'm pissed off. ¿Y el nombre de él cómo es? Cool Cash. Cool Cash, el youtuber. Cool Cash. Chingue tu madre, güey. I'm fuck you. For you, I'm fuck you. Pero explica I'm por qué, you. explica por qué. Mal hombre. Aprovechó, lucró y ganó dinero con la necesidad de los cubanos. Causó prisiones a jóvenes. No, van a prisión. Sí, hay jóvenes que van a prisión por prostitución. Sí, por, por quererle cambiar dinero un poquito más de lo que ofrece el gobierno por ayudarlo. Lucró. Te están estafando que mira cómo se hace. Lucró con la necesidad del cubano. Pero yo me enojé. Él era mi amigo antes, pero ya no. Malo. Ya no. Me sirvió solamente le importó ofender, humillar y restrellarnos el dinero en la cara. Gastaba mil, dos mil, tres mil, cuatro mil. Llegaba a un restaurante y, y, y entonces todo compraba lo más caro, lo más caro, le pedía dinero y no te daba un medio, un dólar, ni a los indigentes los ofendía. Le decía, cochino, córrete, a ver todo eso, güey, que trabaje. Y lo andaba y ofendía a las camareras, a todo, no un servicio. Mal hombre, mal chico, entonces se está lucrando de la necesidad de las personas y ustedes están apoyando eso. No lo mismo conocer la necesidad a que vivir y lucrarse con la necesidad. Bucas, chinga tu madre, papá. Y tranquilo, si no nos vemos aquí en Cuba, <risa> no, nos vemos bien. afuera, güey. No, bro, el karma es lo que tiene que hacer, el karma, la vida. Y que Dios te lo triplique y te lo pague. Again, guys, about Kurt Kass, I told you why I was angry. And hopefully now this guy can prove to you that I'm not a hater, guys. Kurt Kass has done crazy good videos. He used to be my friend. I used to like the guy. But what he did here, it's... It, it makes me sad, and I have nothing against you guys. He has done great videos. You are allowed, and I'm supporting his previous work and everything. But after I met him in real life, I changed opinion. Me, maybe you like him in real life. And now after I saw what he did here with these people, I have no words. I'm just glad these guys here could tell you what I told you the other day. I have no words. Also, I'm very angry. I'm very angry with this guy called Kerd Kak. Kerd Kak used to be my friend, but he's not anymore. Because he's a piece of shit. That's why. You know what they told me here? Six or eight people right now are in jail and they're gonna stay in jail because Kurt Kak decided to come here and expose these people. Esa es la cooperativa. Sí. Solo, solo, solo vendes cajitas. Okay. Sí. Sketchy little setup there. That is a setup from the workers that used to work or do work in the factory and steal the, cig steal the cigars and then resell them at their own price. <laughs> he exposed them. He doesn't give any fuck apart of the views. He exposed the, the, pe the person's place, what they do, their faces, their names. And now these guys are gonna stay in jail for 20 years because of Kurt Kak. Then he was just chilling on his little taxi. Two girls talked to him. She complained as a tourist. He put her faces on, the, on his video. 
These two young girls now, they're gonna spend in prison 20 years because of Kurt Kak. And guys, I'm super sad and super angry because wherever I go here in Cuba with my camera, people are looking at me like this because they think I am Kurt Kak. Those girls were following us around, waiting for us to invite them somewhere. That's a typical thing here in Cuba, you gotta be careful. Do not trust. Every single Cuban hate Kurt Kak because he came here and exposed the local people. Guys, Cuba is not like another country. It's not India, Brazil, Colombia that you're gonna go there and expose a scammer or you're gonna expose something funny. You cannot expose people here. Almost everything is illegal. And the moment you put this person on a video, he's done. Police comes, police finds him in five minutes. Prison, 20 years. You don't understand what, what Cuba is. You don't understand, guys, what this place is. And Kurt Kak knew exactly what he was doing because he came here and all of his fucking videos are negative. Avoid these girls in Cuba. But all these videos, guys, he will end up, these guys, these people go to jail. Because there's a law here in Cuba, it's a very strict law. If you're a tourist here, you are basically a king. And if you're a native here, you're basically a nobody. And Mr. Kurt Kak knew exactly what he was doing because he will never come in Colombia or Brazil do that. I was with him, I was with him in f***ing Colombia. We got scammed big time from a prostitute that he brought in the house because he was f***ing dragged, as always. We got scammed, police came. We almost lost our f***ing passports because of him. And he filmed it, he filmed everything for security reasons. And obviously he told me never share about this, never told, tell anything about this, don't post any footage about this. Because he knows you go, it's Colombia. But in Cuba, this mother knew exactly, knew exactly what he was doing. He came here to fucking expose people in order to make money. Man, I, I, guys, two days I cannot fucking sleep because of this. He came here, exposed the poor people that they have zero power. No one, no Cuban person can speak to me on camera about what he did because they're also afraid. They're afraid that if they say something wrong, or the way I wanna edit the video, or they don't know me, they're gonna end up in jail. And he fucking posts the video everywhere, so he makes sure he monetizes everything. He posts on YouTube Shorts, on Facebook, on Facebook Reels, on everywhere. That's why he makes sure every fucking Cuban sees that video. I, I, I hate doing this, what I'm doing right now. I'm exposing him because this is what he did. And no Cuban person can take a camera and say what he did because they're afraid. But everyone tells to me, so if I don't speak what I see here in Cuba because of Kurt Kak, because he used to be my friend, I will not be able to sleep. I will feel guilty. Because since I know something, since I see something, I need to say it. Because many of you guys in USA, in UK, in Europe, you don't know what he has done here. People go to prison because of his fucking videos. The guy is a fucking millionaire. Why you will come here, expose the fucking people that they cannot speak? This is not Colombia, this is not Brazil, this is not UK, this is not USA, you cannot expose people. Guys, I personally got scammed, big time, my first hour here. Got scammed $20. I have it on a video. But I will never post this video. If I post this video, I got scammed big time from a girl 18 years old and a guy walking together. If I ever share this on YouTube, they both go to jail. Because I go, because I lost 20, because I lost 10, 20 bucks, my change won't, my life won't change. But if I upload this and blame these people, they're gonna end up in jail immediately. And Mr. Kurt Kak knew that and he didn't give a fuck. I never want to talk about him until now, because now it's not me I'm getting harmed from him, it's people here are going to prison because of him. I will speak up, even if you now mocking Kurt, you send your army to attack me, do it. Do it. I'm just here to share what I see with the Cuban people. They have no voice to speak up. And since I'm here, and I'm seeing all their sadness, and I'm hearing their conversation about you, and I'm hearing what these people are facing now in, in Cuba because of you, I will fucking say it, bro. I don't care. I will say it. You are a piece of You are a cared cack. Cared cack. That's who you are. That's why I can't even film with you guys here the last three days. I'm just thinking about it. This guy is a monster. This guy is, a, is an evil person. And I've met him in real life and I know exactly what I'm saying. And I'm the one who really loved this guy. And he knows that as well. I've really helped him. And when I met him in real life, 
I saw his true colors. And this guy is an evil guy. I know he does great videos, I agree. I'm not here to hate him on his work, he does great videos, he has done great work traveling. But if you meet him in real life, you will see what I mean. All of my friends told me the worst about him. And I choose to not to listen to them until I met him. I'm also sometimes naive, I'm very naive, I trust people and this guy is an evil person. But how can you fucking expose these people, man? How can you come here in Cuba and expose the fucking local poor people? When you know this is a communist dictatorship country, you cannot do that, bro, you cannot do that. So if you have the balls as you pretend you have, you are the man, you are the Mr. Alpha female as you want to become, come here in Cuba, apologize to the people because 10 families here are suffering because of your freaking videos, because of your ignorance and arrogance. <sighs> Guys, here in Cuba, the poverty is insane. People, people cannot buy anything. If you work a real job, normal job, you cannot even buy food. So even the prostitutes, even the scammers, even everyone who does something illegal, tiny illegal, they do it for survival reasons. They do it out of necessity. You have to respect them. Guys, here in Cuba, there is no Cuban person that will speak bad about the Cuban prostitutes. Everyone respects them because they know they do it in order to, feed, to, to put some food on their plate in the afternoon to feed their kid. They have nothing, guys. They have literally nothing. I'm not even joking. It's not like they're lazy. They have nothing. You might make 12 bucks a month. And if you buy two burgers from a restaurant, it costs 20 bucks. They have literally nothing. So they will do anything they can in order to make money. So don't expose them. Don't expose them. Don't film them. Don't talk to them. You can talk to them, but don't film them. And I'm very sad and angry because... Kurt Kak is not a newbie. He knows what he was doing. He has suffered from his mistakes in Republica Dominicana. I have done mistakes myself in El Salvador. I got the consequences, but no one else had problems. Here, if you expose people, you will be okay and you will be the locals. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't record illegal things. To everyone you're recording, ask him, can I record? Can I record what you say right now? Because many people, guys, they don't know. They see my little camera, they don't know I'm a YouTuber. They see your little camera, they don't know you have a thousand followers, they don't know you have one million followers, they don't know. They don't even know you're recording, they don't really watch YouTube, there's no fucking internet here. Please respect it, man, it, it breaks my heart, I'm in pain. I'm in pain for these people that I've talked to the last three days. Please, if you come in Cuba, be careful. You cannot capture everything you see. I'm sorry to say that, if you love people, if you respect local people here, Please don't record anything illegal. You gotta play with the rules of the government. Otherwise, you're gonna harm people. Unless you're such a piece of shit like fucking Kurt Kak, who doesn't give a who knows what he did, and he's proud of it. The level of his ego and his, his arrogance is, is, is disgusting. It's next level, it's disgusting. I would, I, I would be doing the same video for anyone who did this thing. And if it was me doing this, I couldn't be now sleeping, I don't know. I will be apologizing to the whole, I don't know, I, I will be going crazy, guys. And the thing is, I got scammed, and I will never post it. I got scammed. Kurt Kak never got scammed. No one harmed him. He chose to portray these people in a negative way so he can make money. He hates people. He, first of all, he hates all creators. He hates all locals. Things that he has done, and I've seen him doing to the locals, or other, it, it's disgusting. If you don't believe him, believe me, try to spend with him a few days. Ask Pablo, the Brazilian guy who made a favela, favela video, that he used to be my best friend, and I linked him with him to make a viral video, as what they did. Ask Pablo what he thinks about Kurt now. Ask his best friend, Stefan, who played with many videos with him, ask him about his opinion about Kurt. Ask Mariani, ask me. You, you. But I don't care about us, I care about the Cuban people, what he did, and it's disgusting. And I'm not saying it as a hate, he does good videos, he has done great videos, he showcases good people, he's promoting good traveling, but at the same time he's an evil person. He will go and give money on the fucking local $1,000, that's because he will make money out of it, and then in real life he will say, I'd rather burn $20 in front of their fucking faces than give them a, than give them a fucking tip. He said that on my face in front of a waiter. Who does that? Who does that? 
But honestly, if you come to Cuba, please protect the people. Protect the people. Forget about exposing, forget about avoid this, avoid that. Promote the best of the Cuban people, promote everything good you see. You can judge things you don't like, but you have to be you have to be the one judging it, not the people. If you record one person talking something negative about the government, about their situation, about their reality, they'll go to jail. So you have a responsibility as a creator or as a tourist to protect the Cuban people. This is a unique country in the world. People are going through the hell. I'm pretty sad I've seen these things, but since I'm aware of these things, and since everyone talks, talks shit about Kurt and they hate him, and I saw the sadness on their face, I thought I have to... No sé, mo, la verdad, no sé. <laughs> Pregunta? That's it, guys, man. That's it, I don't want to say anything else. Okay. To be honest with you, that was very intense. And as you saw and as you hear, it was very emotional. Ran from me. Now it's been a month since I made this video. I'm already out of Cuba. And here's the last things I want to say, guys, before I finish this video. I don't regret anything I said because it's the truth. And the reason I was so emotional is because I was in Cuba and I was listening to all these people telling me these things about him and what he did. So I was carrying it with that inside me. That's why I react that way in that video. And you know what's funny now that I'm thinking about it? I was with Kert in, in Santa Marta, Colombia. And man, the guy was so negative, so negative and, and angry with the people, the scammers, the girls, the waitress, with the weather, with everything. And I was there just to film videos and I couldn't film because of the negativity this guy had 24 seven. And at some point, I even, <laughs> I even saw him, how he acts and he filmed me because me, I was imitating him and I was trying to show him how he looks like. And yeah, I just remember about it. For, for the start, I thought this was a joke. So I kept being with him in Santa Marta. But then when I came back to Medellin, I, I realized that that wasn't a joke. That was a terrible attitude. It's a different person in real life. I mean, we all different. We, we were entertainers on the camera, but that was extremely different in a negative way. And so I, I distanced myself from him and I told him what I believe about him and obviously he blocked me. But if we want to sum up, and the real reason, guys, I'm making this video is not, it's not just to expose Mr. Kert. It's not, that's not my main goal here. My main goal, guys, is if you're watching this video right now and you are a YouTuber or you are a tourist or you just want to film videos when you go to a country. I just want to tell you from my heart, not posts guys, from my heart. And I want to please you. If you go to Cuba, you can have an amazing time. I promise you. Almost everyone is super kind with you. Cuban people are super kind, but I'm not going to lie with you. You're going to meet scammers. You're going to meet so many prostitutes. You're going to have so many people telling you to exchange cigars, uh, t t telling you to exchange money on the streets. And you have many people telling you, hey, come, come, you can buy cigars on a better price than the market. And even me, guys, to be honest, you don't know how many opportunities I had to film illegal stuff in Cuba and post them. As a creator, if I post everything I have on my phone, <laughs> guys, they're gonna go viral on Facebook. Even if you go to Cuba with zero followers and expose the illegal things, you're gonna go viral on Facebook. So there is no way I will ever post what I have. As I told you guys, they were offering me prostitutes all the time they come to me. Scammers all the time. I even had the scammer on my camera, on my footage that I will never post. Cigars all the time exchanging money on the streets all the time, every second. If you go to touristic places, guys, they're gonna come to you, you don't go to them. So it's not difficult to film these things. But make me a favor if you watch these videos until now. Please don't expose scammers, don't expose prostitutes, don't expose 
exchange, exchange of money, do it because you're gonna gain money. Because in the bank is way more expensive, but don't expose their faces and don't expose the cigars selling. Guys, <laughs> on my last video I post, yeah, I had the six minute footage of me entering a house, illegal gambling house. As a creator, as a documentalist, I'm like, fuck, that's golden footage. Illegal gambling, gambling in Cuba, and I enter and I see all these dodgy faces gambling, and I gambling, I gambled myself as well. It was an experience, and I filmed everything, and no one seemed to realize I'm a YouTuber. I told them I'm a YouTuber, I have the camera with me, and no one cared because guys, these guys don't know the part of social media. They don't know the part of the camera. I have a small camera, same as Kurt, same as every other YouTuber. And these people don't realize the power of the camera. But to me, I know it. Kurt knew it. You should know it as well. And so, yeah, I never post this footage. And I will never post this footage. If I post this footage of a house full of gambling and dodgy faces and women, looks amazing, I'm, so, I'm showing you the reality, but I'm gonna send people in prison and I'm gonna get people in trouble. Because Cuba is the country it is. So, that's my final thoughts, guys. If you took something from this video, forget about my hate and my emotional rant. Just please remember if you go to Cuba, be careful. Don't film scammers, don't film prostitutes, don't film illegal cigar, cigar selling, and don't film uh, exchange of money. And anything else that's illegal, oh, and if someone talks shit about the government, that I guarantee you most people speak bad things about the government, don't even think about it, capturing it and posting it because they're gonna have problems. And you know, I also felt the same thing, guys, because I'm always recording what I see, the reality. But in Cuba, you gotta put people above the government because if you expose some things, you don't punish the government, you punish the people that cannot live and they belong, they live under a government that's very strict. So even if you hate or love communist, communism, it doesn't matter. If you like people, you should never post these videos. Okay? <sighs> that's it.